as the car world moves into a more electrified era. We're all having to learn a new dictionary of jargon. You might be familiar with the idea of a range extender. If you're not, it's simply an electric car, powered by motors running off batteries, with its own onboard generator, in the form of a downsized petrol engine. Flat batteries but nowhere near a plug socket. The fossil fuel engine kicks in to keep the batteries alive, thus said range is extended. Unlike a true hybrid car, the engine isn't ever connected to the driving wheels. So instant electric torque is always a throttle prod away. An elegant idea, but not an especially sexy one. If only it had been applied to something low and sporty. Instead of oddities like the brilliant but polarizing BMW i3. Ah, uh, that's right, it already has been. Way back in 2010, in fact, by none other than lightweight fetishists Lotus. Meet the Evera 414e concept, again. Like a regular Evera, it's rear-wheel drive but there's no supercharged V6 to spin them. Engine-wise, the Evera 414e depended on a 46 bhp, 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine instead. This 85 kg power plant drives a generator, juicing a lithium-ion battery mounted behind the seats, which in turn drove the rear wheels via two e-motors. Each one develops 200 bhp and 295 pounds-feet, and was able to independently over or under speed through corners to help turn the car in tighter, managing understeer and oversteer a process known as torque vectoring, which you'll have heard of since. It's almost as if the 414E's powertrain was in competition with itself to prove which was the cleverest bit, the motor's aided handling. But the battery could store enough power for 35 miles of zero emission running and be charged via a socket next to the number plate. The engine itself was just as happy running on ethanol or any other combustible concoction as it was on unleaded. Got any Sambuca handy? So the acceleration wasn't one relentless surge, Lotus engineering and gear shift jolts to bring some sense of occasion to its futuristic Evra. Don't like it? Turn them off. Hooray for coding, hey! Despite an enormous 377 kg weight gain versus a standard Evra, Lotus claimed a respectable 4.4 sec 0 to 62 miles per hour time and a 133 miles per hour top speed. CO2 emissions were rated at less than 60 grams per kilometer. Lotus also had some fun with the noise because having a 1.2 LITRE droning away to keep the battery alive isn't much more appealing than a Prius in full CVT panic mode. Inside, the driver could select a V6 or V12 soundtrack to be piped into the cockpit via the speakers, and presumably anything else that took their fancy so long as they were handy with an MP3 file, Lexus LFA V10, please? The 414E was never put into production. And though we've seen several hybrid supercars since, from BMW i8 and Honda NSX to LaFerrari, Porsche's 918 and the McLaren P1, the range extender is yet to announce itself on the fast car scene. If and when it does, this copper-colored ever can lay claim to being its long-lost parent.